Hi everyone, my name is Suzanne Wagner and thank you for joining me on my daily blog. I do a numerology and astrology blog and today's is for January 17th, 2022. If you add all those numbers together, you get the number 15 and if you add the one and the five together, you get the number six. The number six is a hermit number. It's a spiritual seeker number. It's the number of nuns and priests and monks and, and people that sequester themselves away in order for them to bring up the places within that are hard to decipher and reach. So the number six is an internal seeking number. And so today, this number kind of states that alone does not have to mean lonely. When I am by myself, there are still plenty of people around. All those that I have loved and passed to the other side are watching, waiting, listening, giving feedback, chatting, and engaging with me. And I believe they're doing the same with all of you. It's just sometimes you don't necessarily notice except that sudden thought that will come in. And even within my own mind, I am a personal symphony of past life parts, voices, ideas, inspirations, and motivating forces that remind me that I can do many things and there is still so much to remember and explore. I am sure I am not alone in that perspective or awareness. If the pandemic has taught us anything, it's that how to be with ourselves in more healthy ways is really important. It has taught us to be more in touch with our feelings. It has shown us that we, what we have been in denial of. It has pointed out those hidden places that are still unhealed and festering. What can we do that allows us to move through those emotions, ask deeper questions, and finally understand that while we have, may have wanted and need the external to be a certain way, that will only continue the current patterns of dysfunction, illness, and disease. We, ex we use excuses that others are not fitting into our picture to avoid responsibility for our choices and actions. The number six is the number that knows all answers are within us. They are never about anyone else or anything else. Healing comes from dealing with the consequences of our actions, not from getting what we want. And the astrology today. The full moon comes blazing in this evening, just before the sun wants to set. It is in Cancer, and that asks us to pay attention to those that have needs and wish for better circumstances. While we have an immediate family, we also have a heart that can include others that feel in alignment with our values and come from a level of perspective that we can understand and share. Comfort is a strong expression, one that seems familiar to us and those on our path. As this full moon illuminates that which has been hidden or those things that we deny and hide from ourselves, we may notice places of responsibility that are finally revealed to us. We may notice the hurt we are causing others by our inability to accept the truth that has been staring us in the face, and we may finally come to see how our rigid attachment is causing illnesses in, in body, mind, and spirit. The moon will shift into Leo as we are all going to sleep, and that will bring out a more playful side tomorrow. Just remember to not compete with others because all hearts are essential in the movement of this wheel of life. And my quote for today. This morning I walked out and beyond the trees was a full moon staring back, bright as could be. It was still dark and I was bringing food to the strays, and the moon was watching with her smiling gaze. She was grateful that I cared for those on this land. She had listened to the requests and all the demands that called out to her from dusk till dawn. She had watched over the bear and the baby fawn. Now that the light was turning night into day, it was time for her to sleep and go away. And my blog for today. Life never works out exactly as we plan, does it? <laughs> it takes fantastic twists and turns. It goes off in crazy directions that seem to have no reason or rhyme. It astounds and surprise us, surprise, surprises us. It uncorks our giggle mechanism and our crazy side to come out. It gives permission to make things us try things that we would normally run from. It gives us the incentive to reach out of our box. Life is a curiosity that causes confusion and wonder and it is constantly a ticking clock in linear time that reminds us that this moment may pass and that we are at risk of missing something that is amazing if we are not aware. 
Life presents doorways that may never be chosen. It offers a variety of options that lead down pathways that may offer freedom from one thing or they may lead to an inevitable end. Life is the beginning of an experience and life offers the doorways that transport us back to our true home. This dimension is a journey into the pathways that show the consequences of choice. It seems so silly to me that so many think their freedoms are being taken away when those that believe are constantly making independent choices that will lead them down the paths that box them in, are dead ends, or are willing to give up their autonomy and freedoms to the beliefs of another, ensnaring them in a matrix that steals their life and limits their ability to succeed, thrive, and mentally mature. Choice is the journey towards awakened consciousness. Choice is a, a mouth with sharp teeth that will hand out terrible consequences to those that cannot see when they walk into a trap. Choice is ruthless and could care less for your rationalization as it simply shows you the results of our decisions in the harsh life light of truth. You see choice and truth are sisters in the family of life. They have walked together for eternity and nothing that the human mind can construct will ever tear them apart. Choice offers for us to continue to live in our small bubble and to adhere to our most cherished illusions, or it offers the truth. Choice is the pathway to understand what truth is. Truth cannot be fully understood without choice. We live in a world where those in power want to take choice away from as many as possible. Your ability to choose will not make all your choices automatically move towards truth. Choice gives a series of doorways for you to learn how to discern your own self-deception and for you to decide what is more important for you. Truth is not a priority for souls that have started on the path for towards awareness. Truth is the final door that one seeks for a deeper core understanding of what is beyond attachment, beyond money, beyond success, beyond fame, beyond self-importance, beyond safety, beyond the familiar, and beyond the desire to continue to learn through the domains of suffering. Truth is the ultimate goal of all choices. It is just that some do not realize it when they start. Choices are not rooted that are not rooted in truth lead to the domains of the earthly realm and human existence. And the choices that are inspired by truth will lead us back towards the oneness from which we came. Thanks, everyone.